A conversation with a bricklayer. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have a special guest in our podcast, Jake Mitchell, a seasoned bricklayer with over two decades of experience. Jake, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Let's dive right in, Jake. Could you tell us about your daily routine as a bricklayer? Certainly. I always start early in the morning. So, I grab my tools, survey the site, and plan the day's tasks. Precision is paramount, so I lay out the bricks meticulously. Then, it's a matter of mixing mortar, spreading it evenly, and placing the bricks snugly. Throughout the day, it's a rhythm of measure, cut, set, repeat. The day winds down with cleanup and a thorough check to ensure everything's in order for the next day. Sounds like a meticulous process. Now, could you share your take on the highs and lows of being a bricklayer? Absolutely. On the upside, there's immense satisfaction in seeing a structure rise from the ground up, knowing your craftsmanship will endure for generations. It's a tangible, lasting impact. However, like any job, it has its challenges. The physical demands can be grueling, especially in extreme weather. Additionally, precision and patience are non-negotiable, which can be mentally taxing at times. Well put, Jake. Could you tell our listeners how you found your way into bricklaying? It's an interesting story, really. I started as a laborer, carrying bricks for seasoned masons. The more I observed, the more fascinated I became with the craft. I took every opportunity to learn from the experienced hands on the job. Eventually, I enrolled in formal training to refine my skills. It's been a rewarding journey ever since. That's inspiring, Jake. Now, for our listeners aspiring to follow in your footsteps, what advice would you give to novice bricklayers? Patience and practice are paramount. Never rush the process. Precision is the hallmark of a skilled bricklayer. Take advantage of any opportunity to learn from experienced professionals and don't be afraid to ask questions. Furthermore, invest in quality tools. They're an extension of your craftsmanship. Wise words, Jake. Thank you for sharing your insights and expertise with us today. It's been a pleasure having you on the show. The pleasure's mine. Thank you for inviting me for this conversation. Before we wrap up, Jake, can you recount any memorable experiences or interesting anecdotes from your years as a bricklayer? Certainly, there have been quite a few memorable moments. One that stands out is when we were working on the restoration of an old historic building. We had to match the new bricks to the original ones, which had aged over a century. It was a huge challenge, but incredibly rewarding to see the old and new seamlessly blend, preserving the building's character. That sounds like a remarkable project. Lastly, Jake, could you share a personal philosophy or mantra that keeps you going in your profession? Absolutely. My mantra is every brick counts. It's a reminder that every small detail in our work is essential, and it's what separates the ordinary from the extraordinary. Each brick we lay contributes to the strength and beauty of the final structure. Every brick counts. I think that's a powerful message not only for bricklayers, but for everyone striving for excellence in their field. Thank you once again, Jake, for being with us today and sharing your valuable insights. Thank you for this opportunity to be here. It's been a pleasure. Well, dear listeners, that's it. Stay tuned for more interesting conversations. Have a nice day. Thank you for listening to English Audio Lounge. We hope you have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more audio stories to improve your listening.